Crabman from Crabman Gaming here and today I am bringing you WWE WrestleMania 39 Night 2 on WWE 2K23. An awesome event on Night 1, check it out if you haven't already. And here is Omos vs Brock Lesnar to kick off WrestleMania. Omos making his WrestleMania debut at 37, winning the Raw Tag Team titles with AJ Styles. Defeating the New Day. Here comes the Beast Incarnate. Brock Lesnar was in the main event last year. Losing the WWE Championship to Roman Reigns. Was it a unification or not? We're still not quite sure. Even though Roman carries two titles around. What are these two behemoths going to bring to the table? Brock starts early with a huge knee. And another huge knee on Almas. is in trouble early. Suplex City. Suplex City. Suplex City from Lesnar. Omos is being dominated in the early going. MVP is also nowhere to be seen as well. It is Omos on his own with a huge press land on Lesnar. Lesnar looking to get back in the winning ways after losing to Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania 36 as well. A huge choke line from Omos. Brock could be in trouble. Choke slam. Choke slam. Choke bomb. Break of the eyes. Reminiscent scenes, scenes of Lesnar vs Hogan, Smackdown 2002, back to Suplex City. Lesnar has not won at WrestleMania since he retained the Universal title against Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 34. He's looking to turn things around against the Nigerian giant Omos. F5, F5, this could be the end for Omos. Omos counters. Huge elbows. Rocket, a very surprising dive to the outside. Flinging choke slam from Omos. Another choke slam from Omos. Choke bomb by Omos. Goes for the cover. And Omos has beaten Brock Lesnar. What an upset. Omos is your winner in the first match of WrestleMania 39. Night 2. The next match is the women's four way tag showcase. Now this match was still to be decided, so I've added in Nikki A.S.H. and Alexa Bliss as one team, and the former Women's Tag Team Champions of Natalia and no one's meaner than Tamina as well. Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler will probably be in this match, and Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez have already been confirmed. Now you can't make these matches a regular tag, however a tornado tag is much, much more fun. Here comes Liv Morgan, run up in the Women's Royal Rumble, starting at number two. Rhea Ripley was number one, lasting over an hour, I believe one hour and one minute. Here comes the Queen of Hearts, no, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Queen of Hearts was Owen Hart, no, he was the King of Hearts. Shayna Baszler, I'm a huge fan of Shayna Baszler, and Ronda doesn't seem to want to be here. Rousey, a little bit of a shame the hottest act in the company at one point and now, well, we're not really sure what's happening all action to kick this off, eight superstars in the ring a little bit hard to tell what's going on, Raquel Rodriguez, I might call her Raquel Gonzalez which I think was her previous name in NXT, roll up, roll up by Alexa Bliss this could be over quickly, I'm not sure what's happened because the camera's cut away Ronda Rousey with a huge slam Raquel Rodriguez with another huge slam. It's all happening in this match. What's with Morgan doing? Spinning around, spinning around, Ronda clothesline. Liv Morgan with a back roll into a modified head scissors. Raquel Rodriguez with all the power, huge power, but that should be it. And broken up. I think it was by Tamina. I couldn't really see it. It looks like a Tamina splash. Raquel Rodriguez covers. Liv Morgan does the block, and Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan are your winners in the Women's Showcase. Your next match is Austin Theory defending the United States Championship against John Cena. Last seen at WrestleMania in 36 in the terrific fire fly funhouse against Bray Wyatt, and his last match was a two minute loss to The Undertaker at WrestleMania 34. Can he win the United States title for, I believe, 
the fifth time. And here is the reigning and defending champion A-Town down, Austin Theory, last year losing to Pat McAfee, but then helped Mr. McMahon beat Pat McAfee in an absolutely ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous match. And he made his debut at WrestleMania 36, teaming with Angel Garza in the empty performance center to take on the Street Profits. What can Austin Theory do in this match against John Cena? Goes in early with a huge Uranagi backbreaker on Cena. Looks like a modified STF. Looks like a knee bar. Theory dominating Cena in the early going. What can Cena bust out? One of the five moves of Doom. A spinning face buster. Never seen Cena do that move. Another backbreaker for Austin Theory. He goes for the pin. It could be over early. And it is Austin Theory has beaten Cena in very quick time. And Austin Theory is still your WWE United States Champion. Your following match is Charlotte Flair defending the SmackDown Women's Championship against Rhea Ripley in a match that everybody is looking forward to. Rhea Ripley lost the NXT Women's Championship to Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania 36, beat Asuka for the Raw Women's title at WrestleMania 37, and teamed with Liv Morgan in a fatal four-way match for the Women's Tag Team titles at WrestleMania 38. Can she become the SmackDown Women's Champion again? Charlotte Flair with a long history of title matches at WrestleMania. 32, the last match is the Divas Champion, and she beat Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch to become the first women's champion 33 competed in a fatal four-way match for the raw women's title 34 beat oscar's unbeaten streak to retain the smackdown women's title 35 main evented wrestlemania against becky lynch and ronda rousey 36 defeated rhea ripley to win the nxt women's title and 38 she retained the smackdown women's title against ronda rousey on night one what is going to happen in this epic match rumored to perhaps be the main event of night one as well. Mia Ripley doing terrific work as a member of the Judgment Day. Definitely holding her own. Dominic Mysterio is almost her manager, which is absolutely awesome. She's just doing a great job dominating the women's division, and I hope Rhea Ripley does win. Huge moonsault from Charlotte Flair. That was a massive, that was a Kurt Angle-like moonsault. One, two, Charlotte Flair. Oh, kick out, kick out, kick out from Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley with a sit-out spine buster. A rope assisted powerbomb. A huge running big boot from Charlotte's finisher for a while. Which I didn't like the running big boot. She's got so many other cool moves. Huge slam from Ripley. Ripley, mic drop. Is that going to be enough? One, two. Oh, channeling her inner acclaimed. Max Caster. Max Handel. Crown him king. Crown him king. David Arquette in the rest. Not the wrestler. In ready to rumble. Andrea Ripley has rumbled her way through the Royal Rumble, winning the 2023 Royal Rumble and defeating Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania 39 to become the new SmackDown Women's Champion. Your next match is Edge versus Finn Balor, Hell in a Cell. This is Edge's 14th WrestleMania match, making his in-ring debut at WrestleMania 2000 with Christian to win the tag team titles in a ladder match versus the Dudleys and the Hardy Boys. This match is personal, as Edge was the leader of the Judgment Day. Finn Balor kicked him out, stole his stable, and Edge has been fighting against the Judgment Day ever since. The Judgment Day delivering a concerto to Edge's wife, Beth Phoenix, and having a feud in the latter part of 2022. But here is Finn Balor, maybe coming out as the Demon King. Strangely, his Demon King persona not in 2K23. It'll probably be DLC. And Finn Balor competing in his third match at WrestleMania. Oh, he's competing at 34 in a triple threat match against The Miz and Seth Rollins. Great match. And at 35 winning the IC title from Bobby Lashley. Edge has gone 
early and hard with the sledgehammer. I like how tall the hell of the cell now is as well. It looks absolutely amazing. This could be a fantastic match between these two. Kimbala going for a pin early, it could be over early. Just a one count. Sling weight on the table. It normally negates any interference, but generally people find their way in. No Damien Priest to be seen. Dominic Mysterio defeating his father, Rey Mysterio, on night one of WrestleMania 39. Rhea Ripley winning as well in the previous match. Can Finn Balor make it three for three for the Judgment Day at WrestleMania 39? Edge using the Hell in a Cell to full advantage. Finn Balor fighting back. Oh, Finn's tackled Edge through the cage. He's gone through the cage. They're on the outside. Edge is climbing to the top of Hell in a Cell. Finn Balor's climbing to the top of Hell in a Cell. Like, oh, it looks like Edge went for a spear and got counted into a DDT. Edge and Attic on top of the cell. This looks very, very dangerous indeed. Very dangerous on the top of the cage. What's Edge thinking? Finn Balor fights back. Hooks him up. 1916. He's gone through the roof. He's gone through the roof of Hell in a Cell. He's gone through the roof with a 1916. Finn Balor covers Edge. One, two. Finn Balor has defeated Edge inside Hell in a Cell. The Judgment Day going three for three at WrestleMania. Your next match is Bobby Lashley versus Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt not in 2K23 after making his return last year. So I've had to download a mod for him. Here comes the former two-time WWE Champion, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Defeated Umaga at WrestleMania 23 in the Battle of the Billionaires to help shave Vince McMahon's head. And 16 years later, he's still with the company after a hiatus. Bray Wyatt had a hiatus as well, over a year out, with his new Uncle Howdy-esque mask. The eater of worlds, the deleter of worlds. It is Bray Wyatt, only having one match since his return in the Lights Out match with LA Knight. Yeah, at the Royal Rumble. Got the one glove on Michael Jackson style or Samuel L. Jackson style. Huge power slam by Bobby. Bobby taking it to ride in the early going. No more fiend persona. Currently as well, Bray Wyatt is still, still a former Universal Champion because Roman Reigns defeated Fiend and Braun Strowman at Payback in 2020 to start that epic reign as Universal Champion. Break covers, Uranagi, and it's over so quickly. Bray Wyatt has dominated Bobby Lashley. So many upsets on this WrestleMania, upset after upset. Bray Wyatt is your win. Your main event of WrestleMania is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The champion Roman Reigns defending against the 2023 Royal Rumble winner, Cody Rhodes. Wrestling has more than one royal family. Can Cody Rhodes go from undesirable to undeniable? Whoa, my father said when I was younger, hard times breed better men. You took it all away, I gave it all away. Can't take my freedom, here to change the game, a banner made of pain. I built my kingdom, now you bow to me. And here comes the champion for 943 days. Roman Reigns has reigned as WWE Universal Champion. And for one day short of a year, he has also been the WWE Champion. Nothing seems to be able to stop Roman Reigns and the Bloodline. So many successful championship defenses against Jay Uso, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Logan Paul, Drew McIntyre, and Brock Lesnar. Roman Reigns seems 
unstoppable, the 99 ranked superstar. Cody set for the biggest match of his entire career. Roman Reigns has main evented WrestleMania after WrestleMania after WrestleMania. Cody Rhodes has an absolute huge mountain to climb if he wants to become champion, a championship that his father never won. Springboard dropkick from Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes, looking for the underhook. Double underhook, pile driver. Will that be enough for Rhodes to claim the championship? Huge running forearm, Cody Rhodes in complete control. Is that gonna be enough? One, just one, just a one count on the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Beautiful disaster. Cody mounting more and more and more, uh, more offense. Signature power slam. His brother did that so well. Dustin Rhodes, gold dust, black rain, whatever you want to call it. It's the Stardust, the Stardust cartwheel, the Stardust cartwheel. Oh my goodness, this matches everything. Reigns with a huge power bomb on Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes having to dig really, really deep. A second disaster kick. Reigns punishing Cody on the outside. What does Cody Rhodes have left? Superman punch. Cody Rhodes moves out the way. Huge final cut. A move that Goldust did so successfully. That was Goldust's finisher. He's signaling Roman Reigns to get up. Is that going to be enough? Is he going to use his brother's finishing move? A slap to the face. How disrespectful. Could this be all? One. Oh, just a one count. Just a one count on Roman Reigns. Cody with a gold dust jab. He's hooked him up. He's hooked him up. Crossroads. Crossroads on Reigns. Crossroads on Reigns. He's too close to the ropes. Cody's dragging him to the center. One. Two. Cody's the champion. Cody's the champion. Cody Rhodes has fulfilled his destiny and done what the American dream could never do. And he has become the WWE undisputed champion Cody Rhodes from undesirable to undeniable fulfills his Wrestlemania destiny and sits atop the mountain for the first time in 943 days Roman Reigns is not the universal champion it has been Crabman from Crabman Gaming if you've enjoyed this video click a quick like down the bottom subscribe comment until next time see you later